Jesus said some pretty hard stuff. Um, I'm reminded of what he said in Matthew on the Sermon on the Mount. He said, you've heard it said, an eye for an eye. But I tell you, do not resist an evil person. If he slaps you on the cheek, turn the other one also. He said, uh, you've heard it said to love your neighbor and hate your enemies. But I tell you to love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. And I'm thinking of Jesus like hanging on the cross. And there he is. He's like hanging. There's guys gambling below the cross for his clothes. And he says, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. I think a lot of people hear those things from the Lord. And they're like, I, I don't think I can do that. I think some people are like, I'm out on Christianity because I can't, I can't love like that. And I think there are some people who who are followers or they're trying to follow the Lord and they're trying to love like that. And it's it's hard to do. They look at that and say, I, I, it's just so hard to love people. Paul tells us the same thing when he says in the book of Corinthians, the famous love chapter, he says, love is patient, love is kind. It does not brag. It's, you know, it does not boast. And it, it thinks about others all the time. So we think of that and go, man, man that, that sounds like hard stuff to do. And there's no doubt it is hard to do if you've not been conformed or transformed by the power of the Holy Spirit. So the reality is, like when I'm dealing with people and I interact with people who claim to follow the Lord, it might be surprising to you that often, more often than not, I'm offended by somebody who claims to be a follower of the Lord in the way they treat me as opposed to someone who's not. Like, it's easy for me to look at someone who's not a follower of Christ and they treat me a certain way and I can I can overlook it, I can understand it because they don't know potentially what I know or haven't been transformed by the way the Lord has transformed me so I can, I can digest how they, they treat me, I can process it. But when a person says they're in the kingdom and I get the same kind of treatment from them, it's like, I don't understand that. Like, I, my, I can't wrap my mind around it. And here's the thing, is we read these hard sayings of Christ. We go, man, that's hard. But the reality is, once you meet Christ and He transforms your life, it should be harder not to love that way. It should be harder to not be a forgiving person. It should be harder to be jealous um, than it is to not be jealous. Because when we've met Christ and been transformed by His power, and we've experienced His love, we've experienced His forgiveness, we're not the same thing we used to be. So if you find it hard to love people, if you find it hard to love the unlovable, if you find it difficult, um, to be willing to turn the other cheek, you might look at yourself and go, have I, have I really met Christ? Do I really know what it is to be transformed by His power? Because the, the truth is, is that when we've met Him, it should be hard not to love the way we're supposed to love. And I, I think I'm reminded of this and I'm sensitive to it because there's so often that I hear and I read things um, on social media and I'm like, I, I thought this person was a follower of Jesus and I'm, 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 I'm having a difficult time wrapping my mind around it. So here's what I want to do today is I want to push back and I want you to wrap your mind around the fact that am I really a follower? Have I really been transformed? Because if it's easy for you to hate, I'm not so sure that you can say, I've been transformed by the power of Christ. Because what we are when we're transformed is we're little Christ in the world. We take on His behavior, not by trying to do these things, but it's just now part of our spiritual DNA. It just happens inside of us. So I want to challenge you to like be introspective. Like Take a look at yourself. Look inside and ask yourself, does love just come out of me or am I trying to do it? Because when you've met the master, it ought to just come out. We'll see you next time and make sure that as you're encountering people that are hard to love, 
you're looking at it and going, this shouldn't be that hard. And, and use it as a tool to analyze. Why is it so hard? And if it's becoming hard for you, then maybe it's time for you to sit with the Lord a little while because you've lost touch of the love that He has for you. Have a great week. We'll see you next time.